if you lived in unincorporated Jefferson County, you may have noticed your trash bill has gone up. Amwaste says fuel costs are up nearly 226%, so the increase was necessary. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is working for you tonight. And Valerie, you spoke with people about this increase. What are they telling you? Stephen and Muriel bills have jumped by at least $30. People describe this as unfair and ridiculous, but at the end of the day, the service is essential, so many people have no other choice but to bite the bullet and pay it. When Stephen Pennington got his garbage bill from Amwaste, I thought it was maybe a mistake on the bill, so I called and she said no, that it was right. It was uh, due to the fuel prices, uh, it had went up. His bill went from $45.15 to $74.70, and that's just the standard rate. There's no way that it should go up that much per, per house in the, in the neighborhood. We reached out to Amwaste, and while we couldn't get in touch with anyone to answer our questions, they did have this notice on their website. It shows the new quarterly rates and says due to unforeseeable rising cost of fuel, they have had to adjust their base rates. What do you do? You know, you just have to pay it. And it's not fair to, to it, it's way, it's way too much per household. Uh, $5, $10 for the fuel cost would be understandable, but to nearly double it, that, that's, that's ridiculous. Most want to know how that's possible. It's because the county commission amended the original contract with Amways a few months ago, allowing them to adjust rates based on a three month rolling average of fuel cost. Being retired on Social Security, it's tough. That's the same for Carol Horn, who lives down the street. We don't have income except retirement, and it's hard on us. My, my husband and I. On top of rising prices like gas and groceries. We can't keep going on like it is. You know, it's something every time. And for Herbert Higgins, this was no surprise. Because I said, well, they're doing like that, we do go up. Like others in Sylvan Springs, he says there's only one option. Just have to pay it. I did speak with the county's director of roads and transportation on the phone about this today. Heather Carter says if gas prices start to trend downward, that should be reflected in the next three month average. Live in Sylvan Springs, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.